Yeah, it's amazing. It's the best one I've ever seen. And um, it's not even just like the room or like the rink. It's just everything we have here. It's the setup. It's the location. It's uh, yeah, I've, I've been to obviously a lot of the practice facilities throughout the league and this one just blows them all away. So we're very lucky to be the guys that are able to come here and, and work and, and get better each and every day. But they're definitely giving us every single tool and uh, just everything possible for us to, to succeed here. It's, it's that good. And for it to come in the middle of a season like this, is there an element of it that I guess makes it kind of rejuvenating, uh, just jolts some excitement into it? Absolutely, and uh, probably going to sound spoiled, but I don't have to drive 30 minutes anymore or 25 minutes. Now it's just right up the road. So um, it's, uh, I've been pushing for us to move in here as fast as possible because it's, it's easier for me. Aside from the proximity, is there a part of it that is your, your favorite from what you've seen so far? I just like how uh, our lounge and where we like are gonna have our meals and um, it's it's pretty legit. There's everywhere you look. There's like a TV and hockey and football and golf on. It's uh, it's pretty cool. The weight room is amazing and there's pickleball courts right outside. So um, they're they're giving us everything possible that we could want here. But it's just so new. It's so nice and um, but yeah, definitely the proximity to my place is the best part. Follow up on uh, is that a selling point too? As one of the leaders of the team, the prospective free agents that are looking at this organization, do you say to them, "Look what they do for the players"? I, I've, I obviously have have only been here for a year and a little bit, but talking with people that have played here um, in the past year and a bit, um, there's no team that treats their players like they do down here in Florida. Um, so that I'm very, very lucky to be a part of. And, and Bill has done an unbelievable job in Vinny. And it's it, it's such a great place to play. And then you add this on top of it. It's just, uh, I don't know, I feel like the luckiest guy to be able to play here. This team had made this investment in this place even before you came. But now that you've been here for a while, Stanley Cup final, all-star game, how much more of home does this feel? Yeah, it's going to be a place where I'm hopefully at for you know, many, many, many years to come. So, um, you know, spending summers here, you know, parts of summers, being able to come here every day and do your work here. And um, it's going to be a place that I'm going to be utilizing a lot. So uh, I think for that, being here the first day, I'm always going to remember this day here. But, um, yeah, it's it's been obviously a special year. Just to add this on top of it, it, it makes it feel like everything's coming together. But definitely before I got here, this was a, uh, a big selling point from them. So for it to finally... Um, for me to finally be standing here, like in it and um, using it, it's uh, it's really cool. I gotta ask, what's the golf cart situation like in the parking lot right now? It's uh, it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty cool lot right now. It's got everything. I'm I think I heard there are e-bikes and um, I don't know if anybody just biked here or they. There's a few golf carts. There's a couple cars for the people that don't live here, but um, I think there's uh, only like four or five people that don't live in Fort Lauderdale and they're they're pretty jealous walking and seeing the golf cart. So. Um, I don't know. It's 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 funny seeing how guys are getting to the rink now, and um, everyone lives right around that, right around the area. So we're all pretty jacked up about it. Switching gears for a minute, Matthew. Tomorrow, first game against Vegas since the Cup final. Is there a little bit more riding on it because of the history between the two teams, and what's it going to take for for you guys to get a bounce back tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. I think that. Well, first of all, we're not playing great hockey right now, losing for the last five. So it doesn't matter who we play. We're going to want to come out and 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 play as good as we can. Um, and as hard as we can, win or, win or lose, we just got to get back to playing a hard game, a physical game, a fast game. And, um, you know, we're not scoring at the rate um, myself individually or as a team in the last little bit. So I think we, I don't know if we have to oversimplify or what we have to do. I just think we have to go out and play as hard as we can for 60, 60 plus minutes. And, um, you know, looking back to last year and parts of this year, when we are successful, we're playing like right in your face we're finishing every check and we've gotten away from that a little bit so um but i think on top of it all it's a team that ruined our summers so it will be very hard for guys not to get up i think almost impossible i think we're all going to be uh, playing as fast and physical as we can and there's some bad blood there so we're excited thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.